Moving on, after a dismal showing in the last election, it's not exactly a surprise to learn that Labour leader Avi Gabay will not be seeking another term as the head of his party. And in fact, after winning only six seats in the last election, reports are circulating that Gabay will step down from his role, but still plans to stay in the Knesset as a Knesset member. Apparently, Gabay blames the dire showing to Yair Lapid joining forces with Benny Gantz to form the Blue and White Party. Though Gabay was presented with a similar opportunity to form a merger of his own when Meretz approached him, but he turned that offer down. And who can forget his public ousting of former Zionist Union partner Tsipi Livni's Hatnua party on live television, and without even warning her that he was going to do so. But at any rate, for now, labor primaries are set for November, and although former labor leader Shelly Yachimovich said she has no desire to step into that role again, other labor MKs like Itzik Shmuli and Stav Shafir have hinted that they may be interested. Meanwhile, on the other side of the political spectrum, Likud is having its own internal problems. This as Likud MK's Michal Shir and Gideon Saar both came out against rumors that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is trying to finagle some sort of immunity legislation when the next coalition is formed. In fact, Michal said that while she supports Netanyahu, passing personal legislation is both wrong and unnecessary. And Netanyahu rival Gideon Saar had much harsher words from the rumored bill, saying that it offered zero benefits and caused maximum damage. Then in related news, as for the pending three charges of corruption leveled against Netanyahu, he says still that he's innocent of all accusations. And standing for trial in the face of these frivolous allegations, his supporters argue, would be a waste of the prime minister's time. Therefore, he should be granted immunity.